Hi guys, what's up? Fearless Sean here for another top five video. So again, I'm sort of cheating a little bit. It's four days since my last top five video, but I just really want to do a top five video. Um, so I'm doing one. This one will be about top five secretly good companions for uh, crown shop companions. Like these are five companions. They're very they're underestimated. Not usually bought, but it can actually be very good crown shop companions there um, in PvP. And um, these rules include they can't be part of like very commonly used counterparts, like Pei Pei, he would not be allowed. Um, he can't, it, the, they can be part of a big group like the Cooper Roos 5 companions, the counterparts of them or whatever. Um, it has to be like very, not very well known companions. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'm still 4 subscribers away from 100. Uh, I got to over 60 in the first um, 2 weeks, and now almost 3 weeks since then, and I'm still only 96. Hopefully I'll get to 100 soon, but anyways, to start this video, I'll be going to number 5 here. So, number 5 on this list... If I can find him, is Boson Bud. He, I was sort of having trouble on who to choose for, num for number five and number four, um, but I do think Boson Bud should definitely be on this list because um, he is not really the most spammiest type of companion, but he's extremely tanky. He has very interesting abilities if you know how to use them correctly. That they can actually be pretty strong. And I've had him use against me in PvP some, and he's of course not a top tier companion, not even close. However, he can have to be pretty helpful, he's extremely tanky. And, um, he's actually really strong more for questing, but he also, I have seen him be pretty strong in PvP with his fidget strike spam, and, his very, and he's very tanky. Um, and of course with his special powers, and plus he's just a cool companion, I mean, he's really one of the most interesting companions in the game. So that's number five. Uh, number four on this list is... Thunderhoof. He is a companion that's very strong just for Buccaneers when you first get them for questing, but you can also be very strong at max level. He, um, I actually had him use once in a parts of the one central competition where it was only Cooper Roos companions and a buccaneer used him against me and um, even though I ended up winning that match Thunderhoof was actually extremely strong he has very good burst with his he has uh, turn to tie which is really going to get below to half health he has hold the line which is very good if you know how to use hold the line correctly and then he has relentless 2 relentless 3 can remember which um, and with his strength, especially on a Buccaneer or something, he can have some serious burst damage. Um, so I actually really consider him a pretty darn strong Buccaneer companion. Um, so yeah, I definitely think he deserves to be number four on the list. So now for number three... Is the Eagle Archer. Um, she is a companion that most people don't think of as being pretty strong however she I actually used her a lot on my musketeer for a while um uh, because she musketeer is the companion where you get, get her like from questing because of her true grit 3 they can train you can fortress her charge her at the, musk at the musketeer's character whatever so all in all she's like a very hard counter to musketeers and if you don't if you're not on your musketeer privateer any of the other three classes, you don't really have any burst or trigger three companions, so she can actually be very helpful if you want one. Um, she's definitely very strong in that sense if you can use her to counter musketeers, um, and even companions like Bill or uh, uh, the short black duck. Um, <laughs> can't remember his name right now. Donald Dunk, a uh, tunnel duck. Um, he, neither of them, both of them have burst and whatnot that the Eagle Archer does not. However, she's the only one who actually has True Grit 3 for the stun, and she also has an epic strike, so, um, and parting shot, so that's somewhat useful. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she's actually very strong, and I've used her to beat some of the top tier musketeers before. Um, so, definitely a companion you might want if you wanted True Grit 3 
companion. Okay, so now for number two. Uh, da -da -da, is Monterey Chack. Now this companion, I never would have thought he'd be very good. Up until, like, back when I was active, a year ago or whatever, I played Quentin in the finals of the St. Cooper through Stone only companion tournament in the parts of the central tournament and um of course I just had regular crown shop or regular questing companions from Cooper Roost but he because he had a lot of crowns bought Chuck and Chuck was probably the biggest reason why I lost against him badly in every match he destroyed my companions he has Relentless 3 he has tr uh, Trinitide, right? Yeah, Trinitide, he has Repost. Um, or wait, actually, whoa. <laughs> I cannot believe I just f forgot about this. Um, now that I'm in the middle of the video. Uh, however, <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Scratch what I just said. Jack is a good companion, but the one I'm talking about is Tyson. <laughs> I'm so dumb right now. Wow. Um, Tyson is the one that has Relentless 3. He's the one that Quentin used to destroy me in the finals of that tournament. He has Turn the Tide. Um, and he, if you even give him one strength buff, he'll critical a lot. He has extremely good base damage, especially once he has Turn the Tide. And he has Relentless 3, so it's just, all in all, he's a really strong uh, companion. Uh, definitely one to not be underestimated. And I will always have nightmares to this <laughs> companion since that tournament. It was horrible. <laughs> so he's number two. And now number one on this list is one y'all yeah, would probably never think about. But he is here. El Turbion. The shark companion. Now he is the companion that... Um, I also never would have thought of being very good, and he usually is not very good, but there is one condition that makes him a beyond strong companion, which is if you use the beast uh, banner, because he, since he is an animal, gets affected by it, and uh, back when we used to Private 2 versus Private 2, 1 versus 1 often, me and Jose, Jose used the shark with the banner against me, and its damage is so insane. It's very tanky, so it doesn't die easily. Um, it has repost, I believe, um, and or finishing strike. I think it's rep I'm I'm not sure which one it is, but um, he has some pretty decent epics. He has turned to tide. He's extremely tanky, and he just destroys companions with um, the banner. The only chance you really have of beating the person who uses the shark and the banner is by killing the banner, because you're sure not going to be able to kill him by the time, you know, because by that time he's going to destroy over half your team by himself. Like, he can literally one versus two companions by himself if he has the banner on him. He is insanely, insanely strong um, with the banner, and if you have the banner, I would definitely recommend um, having him for possible, you know, as long as you keep the banner alive, he's just so strong. So, I do believe that completes the list. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and all five of these companions are, I think, really good for PvP. Um, and, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I will have more videos of PvP as well as top five videos coming up soon. And see you later.